How to say no? A lot of times we pass through situations where we want to say no to someone but we are not able to because we don't want to embarrass this person in front of us, okay? So in this episode, I will explain to you a simple way to say no without embarrassing the person who is requesting from you something. But before we speak about this way, let's first speak about the main reasons why you are not able to say no. And mainly there are two reasons. The first reason is authority. Sometimes the person who's requesting something from you is having authority over you. For example, like your boss at work. So you're always worried to say no because you are afraid of the consequences. This is the first reason. And the second reason is the emotional bonding or connection. Okay, sometimes the person who's asking you for something is your maybe best friend, relative, or for example, uh, someone who's important to you and you don't want to say no because you are worried to lose this person or to embarrass him. These are the main two reasons why we are not able to say no in an easy and simple way. Now, that being said, let's speak right now about a simple method that you can say no without embarrassing the person in front of you. And this method is the yes if Japanese technique in negotiations. Yes if Japanese technique in negotiations. Okay, let me explain to you what's happening here or how to use this yes if technique. If you don't know, the Japanese are master negotiators. If you are sitting right now and considering to close a business deal with a Japanese person, and let's say, for example, you are requesting something from him that he will not be, he will not be able to deliver. This person or this Japanese person will never tell you no directly because this again is his culture. He will tell you yes and then tell you if and give you a condition or say a condition or request something from you that he knows that it's impossible for you to accept. So for example, imagine that you are right now sitting on the same table with a Japanese person and you want to close a business deal and you told this Japanese person, okay, I want 50% discount. And he knows deep inside of him that it's impossible that he will give you this discount. Okay, so maybe he will tell you, yes, I can give you this discount if you buy from us for things for 100 million dollars or 100 million euro. And he knows deep inside of him that it's impossible for you to accept. So what you're gonna do, definitely you're gonna say no. And in this case, he avoided the situation of telling you no directly in your face. Because as I said before, this is again, it's their culture to embarrass someone, okay? So what does this mean to you and how you can use this in your daily transactions? There are three scenarios that we're gonna explain right now. The first scenario is, if you are not willing to do something or a request for someone, not willing at all to do this request, somebody requests something and you're not willing to do it, then use exactly the yes if technique like the Japanese are doing or like the example that I just mentioned. When somebody is asking you this thing, tell him okay if and give him a request or ask him for something that you know very well that he will never accept. And in this case, he will say no. This is the first scenario, okay? The second scenario is if somebody is requesting something from you and deep inside of you, you have the probability, okay, to do this thing, but it's not on your priority list because you are busy with other things, then you can tell this person, okay, yes, I'm willing to do it if I'm doing it, for example, next day, next week, or next month, or whatever, okay? And in this case, it's up to the other person who requests something from you to accept or to reject. So if he's accepting, you can move this task or this action or what he requested from you to another day where you are not busy, or if he rejected, then it's his decision, okay? This is the second way or second scenario. But what if the person who's requesting something from you, for example, was having authority on you, like your boss, and this person was telling you, no, I'm not willing that you move this or shift this task to, some, uh, to another day. I want you to do it right now or today. What are you gonna do? The biggest mistake that you can do is to keep accumulating the tasks on your table without sharing the consequences, okay? And the impact of sitting and working over these tasks with the requester, okay? And unfortunately, this is the biggest mistake that the people do. So here in the scenario number three, if your boss, let's take your boss as an example. If he told you no in scenario two, I want you to do it right now. You cannot shift it to another day. Simple, tell him, okay, then I will switch it with another thing that you are requesting from me. So for example, if he was requesting another two things or three things this week from you, and they, these requests were one or two days ago, tell him, okay, I will shift these tasks to another day, okay, and I will do you what you want today. Do not accumulate everything on your table at the same day and sit until nine or 10 p.m. because step by step, it will become a habit. 
the people who are requesting from you will not feel that they are harmed or damaged by this request because they requested it and they went away and you will be the always the person who will suffer either at home or at work okay so here are the three scenarios as we uh, as i explained them choose any of the scenario which fits you and start right now for example trying it but keep in mind two important things before you start using this technique okay the first thing is anything needs practice so don't think right now that you're going to use this technique and it will work with you in a perfect way no you will start using it you will not look confident at the beginning so the person in front of you will, will push you harder and and then for example maybe one time you will lose maybe one time you will win but step by step your skills and the way that you are using this technique will improve and you'll be able to use it in the best way possible uh, uh, to help you achieve what you want okay this is the first thing the second thing that you have to keep in mind, if you are using scenario number three by saying, for example, to a person who is requesting something from you, I will uh, 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 change the priorities, I will shift this to another day and then, uh, for example, uh, do this for you that you want it urgently right now, make sure that the, per the, the, the person that you are telling him this is related to the tasks that you are shifting. For example, let's use the example of your boss. If your boss is coming right now and asking you and telling you, uh, I want it now, and you told him, okay, then I will do, for example, action X in another day. I will transfer it to another day. I will do your action today. And your boss has nothing to do with action X. Then he will tell you, of course, yes, no problem. The same with your relatives, the same with your best friends, you understand me? If the thing that you will transfer or shift to another day is not related to them, this means that they are not sharing the consequences and of course they will tell you no because they will not care if you are shifting something in your schedule as long as it's not harming them. That's why the thing that you will shift, it has to be, it has to have a direct consequences and impact on the person who is requesting uh, something from you, okay? so. Use this tip right now in your life. Start using it to say you know in an elegant way to the person who is asking you something that you are not willing to do. And I would really love to hear or to read your comments in the comment section below. And if you found the message of this episode useful, then press like and share it with your family and friends. Till next time.